you're talking about corporate America, but you realize corporate America is hustling with a tie on. Like that's yeah. all that is. That's it's hustling, hustling with, huh? And that's hustling for somebody else too. Exactly. Okay, yes, it is. It's not your own yeah. hustle. That's true. No, but and that's. I want to ask you a question about that, Dion. You know, as as being someone that went from the nine to five to having your own thing going on. Tell the viewers, especially the young viewers, how does it? feel not to wake up and have to um answer to somebody first and foremost to not to um have to um you know get wait from a paycheck from somebody you know what i mean and basically pay yourself how what's that feeling like well it can feel all over the place especially if you if you're in the beginning because if you ain't making bringing no money it can feel a little bit down a little bit you like i don't got no money i'm gonna get this but it's still more rewarding to me when I make money because I know how hard I work to get that. Right. And I know that nobody can take that from me. Right. You know, I know since I put in systems with my business now that I'm going to make money. With corporate America, during the pandemic, people got laid off. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I never want to be in a position in, wh in which someone else can tell me whether or not or how I'm going to be able to provide for my family. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it's hard because you got to get up every day to make money. But once you get to that, that space in which you don't work hard enough and you can breathe a little bit right. and right. you know what you're doing, then it feels good waking up and then you waking up to money. Right. Right. You put in all the work and you know you have money and then you don't have to get up you don't got to answer to nobody you don't got to sign into nothing you just got to sit there and make sure that your you, your money is going in the right place mm -hmm. right how long did it take you to achieve that success it took let's see so i started really doing my business hard in 2018 so it's only been two years wow and I can't come like, of course, it's things that I want to do and it's money that I want to be that I want to be made. Right. But I tell people all the time, that's why you need to love what you do, mm -hmm. because it's even though I want to be on a financial level at some point and I see that I'm getting there, that's not all that I think about. Right, right. It's not just money. Right. And that makes it a little bit more easier for me because I don't feel so stressed about, you know, being there so quick and doing all the wrong things to get. Now, you can do a lot of stuff to get money. Right. I don't want to do a lot of stuff to get money. I want to do a lot of stuff to keep money. Mm -hmm. but I have to do a lot of good things in order to keep money and also to, you know, make sure that I'm teaching my kids the right way to do stuff so that it won't be taken away from us. Right. So even though it's only been two years and I'm, I have to like really say that I have been blessed in my business, but I know that I made sure that I do things the right way. And I think with that, I get, you know, the financial ability to do more because people see that I'm not just LLC in a business just to say I'm a business owner. Right, 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 right. That's what's up. Cause like, okay. So you talk about, uh, like doing things the right way, but we know that you have a pretty university so we can sign up for your, like talk about, okay. Talk about pretty university before I get into it. Tell me what pretty university is. Okay, so Pretty University is just proper, it's like the educational part of my business. And it's just, um, let me tell you a backstory real quick. Pretty comes from, you're going to see pretty everywhere. Pretty comes from the fact of when I was in college, I was very smart. I've always been smart all my life. And my the way that I dress, not saying I dress the provocative, but I always like heels and bags, and mm -hmm. I'm very flashy. Right. So the way that I dress and the way that I walk always made people feel like it. I'm not embarrassed to say that everybody just be like, "Oh, she's just another pretty girl." And my professor had told me that one day. He was like, um, "My ethics professor." He was like, "You shocked me because I wasn't expecting you to be smart." And I was like, what do you mean by that? He was like, because you're flashy, you come in and you be, you know, and you popular and all this stuff. And then 
you really smart. So I was like, you know what? I want to make sure that my, my message be just because you're a pretty face, mm -hmm. don't let that distract you from your purpose. Exactly. Don't get it twisted. So that's just because I'm pretty. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So pretty university, like all my slogans in my business come from that. It's like, you're going to be pretty, but you're going to be educated. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, pretty yourself. You want to be pretty, pretty yourself to learn how to start your business. Pretty yourself to learn how to write a novel. So everything is just that from that one conversation me and my professor had when he pretty much thought I was stupid <laughs> because I was pretty and flashy. Pretty wait, 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 wait. So this, your professor made a snap judgment, thought you were dumb or, okay, let's just say unintelligent because mm -hmm. of the way you dressed. But a lot of people think that though. You know, a lot of, a lot of men in particular, um, black men in, in very in particular, mm -hmm. on a certain social status, yeah. do think that. And like, and it's crazy because me and him always joke and was so crazy. He wound up being a priest because um, he was a priest. He was he was African. So he was a priest and my we Catholic. So when my mother had um, was in the hospital, he came. He was the priest that came into her room and he was telling my mother this. He was like, yeah, your daughter shot me because she was just so smart and so smart and, and all this stuff. But she just always wanted to be cute and all this stuff. So we laughed about it. But, you know, he was telling me the backstory on how like especially their culture feel about um, American women that dress a certain type of way, you know, flashy or wear their hair a certain type of way or have a attitude or whatever or or talk with their hands and their neck rolling. So um, it's funny that you say that because our viewers know, but you don't know. My my husband is Nigerian, so I'm actually in Nigeria right now. So, oh, are you? Yes. So uh, it's funny that you say that um, recently my husband and I had a conversation about how my sister-in-law, she's in the, she's in the U S how she views black Americans. Now we did a podcast on how uh, Africans tend to view black Americans, but yep. she kind of just proved a lot of that. Like they, they see us in, how do I say it? Okay, the main issue is what they know about Black Americans is what they see on television and what they hear in music. So mm -hmm. they see in these music videos and they think Black women specifically are disrespectful. We do not respect ourselves. We do not respect our husbands, or our boyfriends or whoever. We're always getting divorced. We're single moms. We have, we have children just cause, because we're always having sex. We're getting abortions just cause we have sex and had a baby. You know, they have the worst, like, or well, not they have the worst idea of black women. Yeah. And so it's very important for me to connect with other black women who are pretty and paid. Like I love I love the name of the business because it says a lot. It's like, yeah, I could be cute, but I'm still educated. I'm still respectful. I'm still a hustler. I'm still doing my thing, but I can still be pretty and do it. I can right. still dress nice and feel good and you know, so it's, it's just funny that you say that. That's that's crazy. And, it, and it's funny you know? because everything that they like in college, I had a lot of African professors. I probably wouldn't be in um, where I'm at now because they have taught me so much once we got past that, what they thought we was going to, how I, how they thought I was going to be. But they did also explain that it's not that they dislike American women. It's just that, or Americans, Black Americans, period. It's just that right. They feel like we don't appreciate a lot of the things that we have here already for us. Mm -hmm. And I and I understood that. I completely understood that. A lot of times we went to college. A lot of people played around in class, didn't take their education serious. Mm -hmm. So they just didn't take us serious. So it shocked them when they got a person that, like me at that time, dressed like I was in a video just to go to class. <laughs> that's just, <laughs> yeah. that's just what it was. I just, you know, you I tell it. <laughs> Right, just being extra, and I drove 
flashy cars and I had a crew with me and I was just that that girl that and it just shocked them but that's where pretty and paid the reason why I stand by my pretty and paid um brand wow so if okay if we were to sign up for pretty university what exactly do we learn generally we're pretty university with the um boot camp it is a four-week boot camp and okay it's four weeks, but you could continue it four weeks. I, I pretty much built a plan around the business, the person. Mm-hmm. So I will actually go in, look at their business or look at what they trying to do. We have weekly meetings that they are responsible to go on my website, signing up so they can have their one hour weekly um, uh, meetings. And a lot of times, like I said, starting from the bottom, we start with the LLC paperwork. They have homework to do. Wow. Like if we if we on the week of social media, Brandon, and I say, well, this is the amount of posts that you have to do three times a day. And I map out the time that you do it, the day of the week that you do it. I even do the hashtags for them. They they just have to take what I'm giving them and apply it to their business. So, so this I'm isn't like this isn't like just your regular old course. This is like oh. you actually helping them put their business together. Yeah, it's like we are hands on. We 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 work hand in hand to level up their business. So no, I don't just give them something and go. Like I help them build up their content. I make the content for them because right now I know people is in the beginning stages. Social media is a lot for a lot of people. So I do the content for them. They just have to post it. I do the caption for them. Mm -hmm. They just have to post it. And then like once I. I do like a test try and they, I see how they paying attention, like a test. Like, you know, when you're yeah. your professor, then you have to go on your own and you have to do it. So it's a, a four week course, which most people do it more than four weeks, depending on how much they need, how much help they need. But if I feel like you're not taking your business serious, I cut them off after four weeks. And trust, I have done that to a lot of people wow. because I put in, out of time yeah this so i'm dealing with other people's businesses i have pretty and paid still to run i have my other businesses i still have to run i have my magazine my my husband my kids like yeah. so when you come to me saying you need help if i'm putting in my time that i could be putting in other areas if you don't take it serious and i cut you off and that's just what it is be responsible and hold yourself accountable for mm-hmm. what you need to do you know what, Dion? Let's talk about some of the events you be throwing for for your. Are these for the clients, or or is this to promote the business? It's for it's all of that. Like I get a lot of my clients from my events, um, and then a lot of my clients go to my events, and it's also to promote the business. But overall, it's just to to reach out to the community. You know, right. um, like my Women of Purpose event, which is called. Pretty in purpose now uh-huh. is uh, an event that I do once a year. It's normally a brunch, and I go to an event space and I rent the event space out and I okay. give brunch. It is a ticket price, but yeah. I have speakers that talk about different things. Like last year, we had a speaker that talked about building your credit. Um, I had a speaker that talked about brands in your business, and you know we have vendors there so people could shop with them. And then I give away a five hundred dollar business grant for someone to to um, start their business. So it's pretty much like like I said, everything that I do is empowering yeah. women. I also give away an award. Um, this is the second time I gave away the Pretty with Purpose Award, and it's pretty much what we do is we look in our community. Most of the time, it's to the community on which I can reach. So normally it'd be like North Carolina. I have some prospects in like other states, but I have to make sure they can get to me so that I can give them the award. But I just monitor them and I look and see the great things that they're doing and their family and friends can nominate them. And then me and my committee go in and then we choose the winner and we give them an award for, you know, letting them know that we see them. Excellent. That is amazing. I don't mean to cut you off, of course. I just had to step away for a minute, so. No, that's good. Yeah, you good. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I got a three-year-old running around, y'all. Y'all know how that is. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do, and not no more, but I did. Yeah. 
So check it out. I mean, the the um, what are, what are, what's the price list of the courses? I mean, I'm mm-hmm. quite sure. I mean, this is for you know, our, our women women in our communities. I'm quite sure it's economical. I have the Pretty and Paid membership, which is four ninety nine a month. Ooh. When you sign up for the Pretty and Paid magazine, I mean, Pretty Pretty and Paid membership, you pretty much um, get bi weekly um, informational emails right. on different subjects about business. You also right. get a group meeting call in which you can like ask questions about certain things and get feedback from other women. That's only four dollars and ninety nine cents a month. Ooh. My business coach. Um, well, right now I do have a business building bundle um, with the four week business mm-hmm. um, boot camp, and that's only if you. That gives you four week of one on one business and branding coaching, a custom logo, business card design, a two page website, hmm. which includes booking and shopping card capabilities. Okay. For all of that, that's two ninety nine. What? Are you serious? Yeah, it's two ninety nine. Oh, wow. That that is a good deal for for three. You know, three hundred. That's right. great. That's a great deal for three hundred. That's a lot of stuff, man. You getting for real? That's that could put you on your feet to pave the way for your success. You know what you would get if you were doing that by yourself? If you spent <laughs> only three hundred dollars on your business by yourself, that's just your business cards. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, uh, I'm like my thing was I know all the things that I, I did all my business stuff myself. Like my website, I do myself. Right. I design my book covers, my 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 magazines, uh, everything I do by myself. And because I went to school for it, but it's time consuming. Right. But I know a lot of people. When you reach out to a lot of people, especially in the beginning of you starting your business, a lot of people like to beat you over the head with prices that I feel like. Mm-hmm. Right. I just can't do right now. I just started, you know, I'm, I'm trying. Right. And that, you know, this, you know, makes people not want to do business because they just right. feel like they can't. So defeated. Right. For it. And I don't want people to do that. Like, I want people to be comfortable and just do it because that's my ultimate goal. I just want people to do whatever they feel like they need to do mm-hmm. and be able to, to do it.